To become a maintenance technician at Amazon, you will need to successfully pass Amazon maintenance technician test. It is a pretty mysterious test, designed and used specifically by Amazon, with very little information to go around about it, which makes it extra stressful and challenging to pass. Hi, I'm Shlomik from Job Test Prep, and in the next few minutes, I'll share with you some useful knowledge and expert tips about the test and how to pass it. Let's go. The Amazon Maintenance Technician Test is administered for Amazon by Ramsey Corporation, one of the world's top providers of professional and technical assessments. It comes in three levels, the most common of which are two and three. All three tests are defined as above junior level tests, meaning you will be expected to have quite a bit of educational experience and theoretical knowledge in order to solve them. The main difference between the tests is the level of the questions, as well as slight variations in the topics included. After you have applied to Amazon and passed the resume stage, you will be requested to schedule an online test within the next five days, as you'll see next considering the test content that is not a lot of time to prepare. You will need to take the test on a computer only, with an open web camera, and present a government-issued photo ID to prove your identity. A human supervisor will view both your screen and you in person throughout the entire test. During the test, you will be allowed to use some scratch paper and a pen, and a non-scientific on-screen calculator implemented in the test interface. Now let's get to what really interests you, how the Amazon maintenance test looks like. Since a maintenance employee is expected to have broad knowledge over multiple subjects, the test covers no less than 13 topics, classified in seven sections. There are a total of 75 questions in the test to be solved in two and a half hours. These, in turn, cover a multitude of subtopics that can get highly technical. For instance, the power transmission topic alone includes 12 subtopics. As you can see, the content of the test is extremely varied, and studying it is a challenging task. However, you can take advantage of several features of the test to make sure you're as prepped as possible in the narrow 5 days frame Amazon allows you to study. The first thing to remember is that some topics and subtopics are more common than others. For instance, in the power transmission section, bearings are by far the most prevalent question topic. The same goes for cylinders in the hydraulics and pneumatics section. Getting to know which of the test topics is more common in advance and putting your practice there will gain you the most value for your practice, yielding a higher eventual score. That is why we have constructed the practice questions on our preparation pack to follow this frequency as accurately as possible. The second feature of the test, which can be of great help to you if utilized correctly, is the fact that the test consists of only multiple choice questions, with four answer choices per question. That means that you can often narrow down the number of possible options and come to the correct answer more easily. In addition, by putting your heart to learning the most out of each question when preparing, you can oftentimes learn how to answer four questions by solving only one. The third and last thing you can take advantage of is the fact that the Amazon maintenance test will occasionally present you with a low-hanging fruit. Really basic stuff like the Pythagorean theorem, calculations based on Ohm's law, or calculating the equivalent resistance and voltage of circuits. So when you're studying, take a wee bit of time to go over basic physics such as this. These are test points you simply have to take home with you. Here are a couple of sample questions from our Amazon maintenance test simulation to give you a sense of the questions you are going to encounter on the actual test. You can find the answers and full explanations in the comment section below. This is a question from the power transmission section, which requires an understanding of the concept of critical shaft speed and the formula used to calculate it. The next question is from the PLC section and requires not only understanding of professional terms, but also familiarity with common work practices. The third and last question deals with solenoids and troubleshooting. Being a major part of a maintenance technician's work, troubleshooting questions will be a common extra to questions in nearly every topic. As I said, you're welcome to check out the answers and explanation on the comments section. You're also welcome to comment if you have any questions or comments, and I will do my best to respond. For more information on the Amazon maintenance test and a tailor-made preparation, make sure to visit our webpage. I've added a link in the description. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed and learned. Now it's your turn to practice. Good luck.